back guys time to get rolling we're headed up to uh michigan got uh one out of deerfield which is a gm uh distribution center like a yard where they make them i guess we got three out of the Mannheim um uh, uh, yard up there in uh in uh, michigan so we've got those three uh, pick them up. Well, there's four total. We're going to shoot down to North Carolina, try to be there first thing in the morning. Then we're going to book a load coming back up. It's going to be a busy, busy week. And uh, let's take you along for the ride. This is uh, day two of the day in your life, but it's going to be the third show. All right, guys, so I'm over here looking for cars, right? I uh, just said we're coming out of coming out of Queen City, Charlotte. Uh, I'm trying to go up to the Midwest, Michigan, Wisconsin, Minnesota, Indy, you know, any any of those um, northeast kind of, uh, of Circleville, Ohio. And that I, I've noticed a lot of people, broker-wise, are pulling off of Central. So make sure that you are no longer um, only looking at Central. And it's a hard habit to break. It, it took trouble, man. Oh, hell, I don't know. A month and a half to, to talk me into realizing that, you know what I mean, people are doing that. So that's not, a, that's not my finding or my doing. That's more of just me listening to other people, you know. So take advice from people make sure you look at other load boards because I don't know like back lots they don't use central real hard ACV don't use central a lot um, you know so Hawley United Road you know they, they put overflow on that on central so make sure that you're looking at their boards and you're working all boards the best of your ability Let's get back up the highway. All right, man, we up here at uh, Odessa. They say Vin, uh, it says uh, the distribution center, but it's really Odessa. Um, you know, so we're running around looking for the car now. And if you see, see what they do here. So this is the car we need. This is the car I'm looking at. So what we need to do is we need to find 48374. And uh, she told me it's in lane 4-5. So, and they're, uh, they're, they're marked, you know what I mean? But the problem with this place I'm noticing is that uh, yeah, every, with everything being on the back, you know, you can't just walk down the middle like you do with other ones, but I know it's blue. Well, it says it's blue. Doesn't mean it's blue, but we're gonna I'm gonna walk down here see what we can find. Three seven four. La -di -da -di -da -di -da -di. You see they're all the way down. It might be that here right there, is it? Yep, it's probably that one. That one right there. Now, that's not it, but let me tell you something while I'm doing this. See these bed liner or see them covers? If in this bed liner, if you back a truck on, this thing's coming out of it's coming off. It's gonna blow out of your truck. You're gonna lose it, you're gonna hurt somebody or something. So when it's got those, you have to pull them on. <coughs> From my experience. Or uh, find a way to make sure they're not gonna come out. Or if they're old and junk, take them out. You know, a couple different choices. It says GMC, but I don't know, man. I'm not seeing a blue GMC through here. I may be looking at this lane wrong. Let's go up here and see what, see what happening. Go up here and see what happened. 
heavy yet? Maybe that be it. That boo. She boo. Oh, it's a canyon, that ain't it? Is it marked on the other end? Guess. Oh Lord, have mercy! This is why I hate auctions and don't do them. Do not do many auctions. And if I do, it's a single so I can get in and get out. You want to run an eight pack, nine pack? You want these packs? Come on here, play with this stuff all day. <coughs> now let's see if I made a mistake and that's it over there. I may have made a steak. No, I think it's a Chevy Lenny, isn't it? Yeah, that'd be it. So see it says four dash five. And with it being GMC, should be pretty easy. Now the color can be wrong. Like that would not surprise me one bit if the color's wrong. I would hope the make ain't wrong though. You know what I mean? And we're gonna walk this lane one more time. And then we're gonna go in cry like a baby. We're going to cry like a baby. So, see what this says here. See this here? Number four. So, it's four dash five. Oh, hell. I don't think it's over here, but we're gonna look anyway. Oh man. Y'all still want to be car haulers? That's a Denali. That should be it. Damn, Echo Park. You didn't see it yet, did you? Come on, man. Y'all gotta find this. It ain't on me, it's on y'all. Y'all. There she is. There she be right there. Oh, there's our girl. 
elevation. Elevation. Alright guys, I gotta take pictures, put it in velocity, and then we're gonna get her loaded up. We're all loaded up. Here's the load. Headed down North Carolina. I know we gotta have this spot, but it is what it is. So earlier in the video I was talking about positioning right here, right? So now you see where what I'm saying is beneficial because when I lift when I lift this nose up right here it doesn't get as high as that would be watch So, so what it actually does is it dumps the back, like the back dumps, and then, you know, kind of just slants it like that, as you see, and that nose never gets to the point that that would be if you were in a straight angle. I hope that makes sense to you. So. All right, and then uh, we got another soul. This board here. These all go to the same spot, so we're getting ready to uh, run balls to the wall, get down there. We don't have a reload coming out of North Carolina yet. I hate going to the East Coast anywhere over there anymore. There's just so many trucks over there running dirt cheap. Um, so that's the load we got. We're gonna get ready to hit the road. We may do some talking going down the road. I don't know, but uh, we need to go get something to eat. I got ribs poking out. Alright, I'll see you up the road. Alright guys, we're gonna talk in the dark. So apparently, you know what I mean, this isn't coming from the whole fiasco that I made, that, that video, or anybody else's video, but apparently people seem to have misunderstood that video I made. I did not say, nor did I mean, that we will never have a problem with freight. I never said or meant that you're always going to get the best rates. Is it slow right now? Yeah. Is it slow every winter? Yeah. It, it's election. That it, it shit so... I mean, stuff so up in the air, so messed up, like, it, it's not an economy issue, it's a person issue, you know what I mean? So, the economy's fine, and you've got Thanksgiving coming up, you've got Christmas coming up, we have the same conversation every single year. If you go back and look at my videos from last year in November, I'll bet you they say the same thing. It's alright. Hold on. If you're getting in, get ready. Get strapped up. Get buckled. Prepare to, prepare to suffer and, well not suffer, but like, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't even want to say struggle. Um, um, just, just be ready. You know what I mean? Because um, it, it will come and it will pass. It always does. What up, what up? Man, what a day, what a day. Long day at the auction. Played with the dog a little bit. Um, but let me... Uh, there, there, there might be some people out there right now. There, there might be some people out there right now um, that's watching the world we live in, you know, getting a little, a little paranoid, a little worried, a little upset. Um, let me tell you something now. Hold on a minute. But first of all, before I get into that, dude, I just want to thank everybody. Like, I did this new format today of the video, and let me tell you something. It 
I I'm shocked. Like that, this is, today's video has been one of the most successful. Y'all smashed it. Like, I, I didn't smash it. Y'all smashed it. Now let's see. I checked earlier. It was a pretty good number, but let's see where we're at. Like, really? We're at 2,600 views today. Twenty six hundred views in less than a twenty four hour period, and I, I appreciate that. I really do. So uh, now, what I was going to say is, yeah, some of the country is shutting back down right now. It's um, it's just like restaurants and you know dining and stuff like that. But let me tell you guys something. I didn't say this the last time because um, I, I don't think anybody wanted to hear it, you know, because last time it closed was a completely different thing because they were handing out money left and right. But let me tell you guys, our comp the company I work for, well, I'm leased on to, didn't miss a beat. I'm the only driver that took time off last time, and I just took a couple weeks, you know, my normal weeks, but guys, cars will always move. They may slow down, the rates may fall, but they will move, and that this is the exact reason I say start in a down market. If you started basing it on a dollar twenty-five a mile, you're killing it right now. Even with the cheap cars, you're killing it. The guys that started in 17, 18, basing it on 250 a mile, they're in trouble. So now is either time to restructure, tighten up, or go down. But ain't none of us gonna go down. You know why? Because we're hustlers. Go check this. I'll tell you what, well, they are on point. So, all right, we're going to, uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I, I, I did another one today. I hope you all enjoy it. I hope it's just as good as today's was. Um, got a little bit of different stuff. Same thing I did today or yesterday for today. Probably, I'm going to try to do these Monday through Friday. Guys, these are a lot of work, so if not, I may go to Monday, Wednesday, Friday, but I'm going to try to do them daily. Um, where I may run into a problem is when I just drive all day, but we'll see how it goes. So, um, that's that. If you have any questions, need any help, you already know what to do. I'll holler at your boy. You can holler at Victoria if you need some cheap fuel. JD Factor if you need your money yesterday. There their stuff's in the description like share subscribe hit that ding ding and i will see you tomorrow peace